Bonjour. French women are renowned around the world to always look chic and elegant. But there are a lot of common cliches and common myths about French style. Many of you have expected a French woman walking in the streets of Paris wearing a beret, a tweed jacket and wearing a Chanel bag. You might face a lot of disappointment. You might see this cliche on Emily in Paris, but not really in real life in France. So in this video, I really want to answer this simple question. Is the allure of French style truly justified or is it simply overrated in 2024? And the first question I'm going to explore in this video, are people in France fashionable and are they more fashionable than other countries? Like many other countries in the world, I will say French people are still fashionable in France, but they are less sophisticated and less elegant than probably a decade ago. Like in the rest of the world and because of social media, French people tend also to follow this casual trend. Wearing a white tee, a jean, some pair of sneakers, not to mention also this streetwear trend that is all over social media and the world. Like in the rest of the world, French people do follow this casual, overly casual trend, but they are still, I will say, more fashionable if we compare French people also to the rest of the world. The first big difference, and because I was living in the state for 10 years, French people tend to wear less streetwear, gym clothing, or athletic leisure than the rest of the world. Casual in France does not have the same meaning than, for example, in the state. Wearing something casual in France is still wearing a white tee, a jean, and a pair of sneakers. This is very casual. And you will not see, like maybe in the state, someone wearing gym athletic leisure, gym clothing, or yoga pants all day long for running errands. I live in the state for 10 years and I was also living in a very chic, chic suburb area. And let me tell you that even in a chic suburb area in the state, people tend to wear a lot of athletic leisure for every day. If you are living in the state, please let me know what you think about it because I was living in a still wealthy suburb area in Boston and yet people in this area were still much more casual than people in Paris for example and they were still wearing expensive Lululemon clothing, expensive Athleta clothing. So for me this is a big difference compared to the rest of the world. Another point, French people are still fashionable also because of the culture. I think there's a huge culture in France of dressing well, which is extremely old school. I grew up in a family in France where all women in my family were all the time well-dressed. And when you grew up with this culture around well-dressed, well-groomed, polished all the time, this is very cultural and usually you reproduce exactly the same thing. Something I personally do that make me much more fashionable and which is also very old school, very French, is never leave the house without jewelry. I always, always love to wear my favorite jewelry pieces when I get dressed in Paris, something that my French mom, my French grandma taught me when I was a kid. And there's a brand I really want to introduce you because I wear this brand nonstop every day in Paris. This is not the first time I do a collaboration with them because I love this brand. This is Linear. If you don't know Linear, Linear is a female-founded brand that makes high-quality jewelry with a simple and minimal design. They make luxe, sustainable jewelry at fair prices, gold vermeil, solid gold, lab-growing diamonds that last forever. I love to wear this everyday minimalist dainty pieces. The first one is this beautiful, edgy and refined necklace that features a sleek paper clip chain crafted in gold vermeil. I love the modern, chic, minimal design. This is eye-catching and it's easy to layer with all the necklaces from Linear. French women love to wear dainty, feminine but discreet jewelry. Something that makes a statement but that is not looking overdone. And for example, I also love to wear rings. This is an easy way to elevate an outfit. Let me show you the beautiful Peridot ring from Linear. This is a Peridot ring featuring four gemstones delicately arranged on the gold band. 
the Perido gemstone is also very sparkly and beautiful for fall. This one is also ethically sourced and uncut. I stack with all the dainty pieces like this gold twist ring that features a unique texture band. And the last piece I want to show you, which is extremely French because my French grandma used to wear earrings all air life so i do exactly the same thing i love love to wear earrings for every day and this one is so beautiful i really want to show you these pieces these are the leaf earrings selma these are everyday gold stud earrings featuring a sparkly leaf design they are so elegant and they are the unique design that is so delicate and so feminine. If you are interested to buy these beautiful pieces, check below the video. I do have an exclusive offer for you. And the second point I want to make in this video is the big difference between Parisian style and French style. There's a lot of misconception about French style and usually it is very misleading because everybody usually associate French style and Parisian style. But French style and Parisian style are two different things. French style is all about simplicity. French style is the art of mixing, matching, basics, simple together. And of course, French women can look very elegant, but the Parisian style is slightly more sophisticated, a little bit more edgy. Parisian style is all about the minimalism. It is the art of mixing and matching minimalist pieces, the art of the less is more. Always a statement piece, it could be a designer or not, but always something that makes this minimalist look a little more elevated and more polished. If you want to know more about the Parisian style, do check my videos. I'm going also to launch very soon some masterclass, some ebook also about how to dress like a Parisian. So follow this channel because a lot of things are coming up. And of course, when I said Parisian style, there's no one unique style in Paris. The Parisian style is very eclectic. It also depends where you live in Paris. People who live in the 16th, 8th arrondissement dress very differently compared to people who live in the 7th arrondissement or even in the 10th arrondissement. So there's so many different styles, but at the same time, there is definitely this unique way of dressing in Paris. And as a French woman who also lives in Paris, travel around the world, I also live 10 years in different states in the United States. I can tell that, yes, there's definitely this unique way to style, to design clothes in Paris. Now I can move on on the big cliche about the Parisian style. Like I said, there's no one unique style in Paris, but there are so many, many cliché about Parisian women, about French women. There's also so many videos online made by women that are not even Parisian, not even French, that also spread this big cliché about the French style. If you watch Emily in Paris, for example, Emily in Paris is really about the American style and probably the way American people see French women. But this is an American show made by American people. So I have absolutely no problem with that. But you have to know that it does not represent the French style and absolutely not the Parisian style. The style in Emily in Paris is very, very American, not really French. It's all about bold contrast. Contrast is American, not French. You will see a lot of flashy color, flashy pattern. They are overly dressed up, or it's too much, too overdone. So it's absolutely not Parisian and absolutely not French. So if you believe all this common cliche, I mean in Paris or the Instagram thing about French style, you will face a lot of disappointment if you travel to France or to Paris because French women tend to dress very elegant, very well, but it's not that overdone, it's not that dress up, and it's not that romantic. And now moving to the key of this video, what is the French style if it's not Emily in Paris or the thing you are seeing on Instagram? If American style is the art of contrast, French style is the art of nuance. And I will keep repeating on this channel that contrast is American, nuance is French. Nuance is really the key concept of a French style. 
That's why so many of you can think also that the French style might look boring or maybe dull or very flat. Nuance in style is the art of mixing and matching minimalist pieces together that create a simple effortless look. The art of nuance is to either dress up your overly casual look by adding something that is more sophisticated or either dress down your too overdone or too dress up outfit by adding something that is casual or laid back. Always prioritize comfort, authenticity in style, something that you would wear because you feel good rather than something that looks too costumey or too, too, too overdone. And now coming to the most interesting part of this video is the difference between the French style and the Italian style. Something that comes up every time in the comments is the comparison between the French style and the Italian style. The goal is not to say that one style is better than another or to say that Italian people dress better than French people. I really want to make a very fine analysis of the big differences between the French style and the Italian style. If French style is the art of nuance, Italian style is the art of drama. This is really, really how I will define Italian style glamorous and dramatic at the same time. Italian fashion exudes a sense of drama, confidence, and a celebration of life. Italian women embrace bold colors, statement prints, for example, luxurious fabrics. Italian silhouettes tend to be more fitted and body conscious than the French counterparts. Think pencil skirt, figure hugging dresses, statement high heels, for example. And the big difference to me between the French style and the Italian style lies in two accessories. Italian people tend to add a lot of accessories to add drama to the outfit. Earrings, bold sunglasses, chunky bracelet, designer bags. French style is much more about effortless, understated elegance with neutral colors. Patterns are also kept to minimal. And when it comes to accessories, the French approach is much more subtle. Accessories has to be eye-catching, but not being seen. Italian women usually wear a lot of designer bags a lot of logo logo is also very important in the italian style i'm so sorry but when i scroll on social media and especially the what do you wear today of the outfit of the day it usually it's all about logo statement pieces if you pay attention on street style in paris parisian people french people tend to wear something that is much more subtle very very discreet again french people don't like to get attention because of the brand of the logo. And that's why I do prefer the French style over the Italian style. Again, we have the right to disagree and this is my opinion. I'm French, I live in Paris. I think the French style is all about fabrics, silhouettes, style much more than logo and designer. I see too much designer, too much logo, too much bold, eye-catching silhouettes, you know, in the street of Milan. Let me know what you think about the big difference between the French style and the Italian style. If you agree, if you disagree with me, and I'm pretty sure some of you will disagree, but I do, do prefer the French style. I think it is a little bit more sophisticated and less about the branding of a logo. And now I'm going to answer the question, is the French style overrated in 2024? To end this video, I will say absolutely not. Of course, like many countries in the world, French people tend to be more casual than they were a decade ago. There is still this big difference between the new generation and the old generation of my ma and that grandma. I will say that French women over 50 tend to dress better than the young generation. I miss the old school generation of women in France that used to dress very, very well, always well-groomed, always polished. And of course, if you believe the big cliche you see on Instagram, on Emily in Paris, on TV, of course, you will face a lot of big disappointment, but again, this is not the French style. There are still French women who dress extremely well in France. There are still people who really embodies what I say, the art of nuance, especially in Paris, because I do think that there's still a big difference between the French style and the Parisian style. So no, in 2024, French style is not overrated. It is still very unique. 
very unique, very sophisticated, very original. And there are still a lot of women by judging on the number of videos online. There are still a lot of women and a lot of people are still obsessed about the French style. That's it for today. I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know in the comments. If you love this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to check all my other videos about the French style, the Parisian style, and I see you very soon for another one. Bye.